bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Douse the mizzen tops. Careful. It's quite a rough squall, Captain. Stand still. Hold! Your end, assassin. Kill him! Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Got the precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Shay. Where's Chevalier? 
Returning to Le full. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. Sword strength. Killing him was necessary. But... Shall take it. Pull off, lads. Loose the royals. As we were fishing off Hayes for all I shooting and close up in trouble. Please expect in that windy old weather. Stormy old weather. weather. When the wind blows, it all falls together. When up jumped to Herring, the queen of the sea. Says now, old skipper, you cannot catch me in the windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all fall together. If we sighted a thrashing, slashing his move. tail. Time now, it's old skipper, to hoist up your sail. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather. There's the city of Arles. The blows, the greatest frontier town of all. And up jumps a slip soul, as strong as a horse. Says now, old skipper, you're miles off course in the windy old weather. You there, stop. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Yeah. 
Who's he? Well, he's a traitor and was colonel of the Warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies now, I think. He also owns lands and trading posts all over the colonies. Never heard of him. Resolve itself. Help me out. Uh, so what's so important about this Congress? Who knows? They never tell us anything. Close ties with the Indians. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform? Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Try to get away, cop. Try to pass me, I'll spill your brains. Yeah. Can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. And now the wardrobe and the manuscript.
I'll take that. You Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Catch the wind! I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? Meet Hope. Personally, one of Johnson's men. Give the box of manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger then. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. But hold him. As far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the Templars or the Assassins for that matter. Oh, a simple task. <laughs> for a simple man. Sleepy Hollow. 
shame it's gone into such disrepair. Some sort of cargo hey, there, sir. Ships may come and ships may go as long as the seas do go. But a sailor lad just like his daddy we are loves headed straight to for blow land, his sir. Leave the houses and garlic. Let's move! Raise those sheets! Let's move! Get them aloft! Down salt sail! You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated nowadays. Yes. Yes. The army will melt it down and turn it into weapons. War is upon us. So, Master Franklin, what is this? A maiden job. It temporarily stores power. Wish to remind citizens to be on the lookout for grave robbers. <laughs> Unscrupulous medical students have been caught disinterring the recently dead. Be reminded that all forms of human dissection are strictly illegal. Politicians, taxis, weak tea. What a collection of arseholes. I'm parched. Who's for beer? Haven't we just come? Strange stuff in Benjamin Franklin's garden. I'm well done. You want more fun? 
that the last of it? Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. If the storm gets worse. Let's hurry back to Franklin. Thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Jay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. The nearest bureau is near Mount Vernon. Hope will be expecting me.
Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. Quo tibi oferimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis fiet votus espiritalis. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Espiritus Sancti. Amen. Gratia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, et Caritas Dei, et Communicatio Sancti Espiritus, et cum omnibus vobis. Et conspiru tu.
Precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact.
How could God do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead uh, thanks to your damned uh, manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell's knew. going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the Earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another Precursor Temple. I don't care that he's Mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Only one thing to do. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing, exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Stop him! Stop Shay!
a clear shot. Run! Run away! Move! I'll need halt! I have some clear shots. I can get it. I will not let you run away! That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles... I cannot! I will not let this happen again. All oh, those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> Glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. All right, Nams. We don't know where she is or what he's doing now. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move.
Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shea is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre Dame. Shea must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. I'm bored of this. What borders are we? Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. We gotta keep working, Numbskull. Meet me at the elevator. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added shit. a location to the next server on your the map. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great. Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the... Shay's memories to your animus.
All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? This pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start.
Like Haith and Kenway, Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al Mualim. Haras. Vali Sel Tradat. Baptiste. Duncan Walpole. Haytham Kenway. Lucy Stillman. Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Sheikh Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security, 
in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar, rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son, Connor, was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Following the Great Purge of 2000, William Miles became the de facto leader of the Assassins. A cunning and ruthless strategist, he trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kaczmarek and Lucy Stillman. In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo and delivered him to Warren Vidic in Rome. Miles' son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Vidic and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a First Civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the Precursor structure. The grieving William Miles went underground, 
and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Both Miles and Banks remain at large. Agent Acosta has tasked the Akashic satellite Plexus to sweep the planet for traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them. Okay, the numbskull is in another Animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Yega. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsey Farn. 793 Northeastern Coast of England. 
Sorry. History, nerd. So, how was it? It was summer. Good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, oh, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. This place is a fucking disaster piece. Hey, boss. Calling from Germany? Yes. I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named... Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. 
The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch! How dare you! Shut up, woman. Ow! Leave her alone. Ah! Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon's citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Cass. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic.
What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. My boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here, reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. 
Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. strikes me as an honorable man someone who wants to do what's right and he may have a point with everything that has happened with what I've done I can't change the past but maybe there's a future for me here and maybe just maybe I can do what's right this time I should head back to the Finnegan's let them know I'm fine Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. Stop right that nick what we rightfully stole! 
Let's say we give him a stretch. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Carmine. Charmed. But what are you doing here? Don't mind the ass. Colonel sent me. Aha! Fuck off all <laughs> Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's a bargain. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what. I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste. Keep up with you.
Dance, man. 